Hi. So a lot of you have uh, queries related to how do we get you know PhD admission using the GATE uh, examination, like if we qualify GATE, and uh, some things about the fellowship and how can we secure a PhD position, right? So I'm going to address all those aspects. Um, also, I want to just highlight that uh, if you have any queries related to PhD admission, um, I am conducting a free live class on Unacademy today at seven o'clock. Um, so those of you who watch this video before seven, um, you can join me on Unacademy. I'll give you the link to that live class in the description box. All you need to do is just use this particular code. Okay, somewhere over here, I'll show you and uh, just enter that code and you can watch the class or you can ask me your doubts live. Um, and the uh, and the live class is absolutely free. All right. Um, anyhow, so uh, see if you have cleared CSI and at GRF, that means if you have UGC GRF or CSI GRF um, or Inspire Fellow, basically if you have your own fellowship, I mean you can more or less apply to any institute anywhere. Okay. Uh, and you know very few institutes like let's say IIT Kanpur has a cutoff for GRF also. Like if you have cleared GRF. Uh, CSR, GRF or UGC, GRF, but your rank should be under 40 or something like that. Okay, very few institutes have that, uh, but more or less you are eligible to apply almost anywhere. Okay, but when it comes to GATE, first of all, let me uh, clarify a few things. Okay, uh, one of those things is that many of you think that the fellowship might not be equal. Uh, so let me tell you that whatever fellowship you get through CSR, UGC, GRF, okay, the same amount you get through gate as well okay and in fact the the, the fellowship it is dispersed uh, much more in, in a much better fashion because it i think it comes from M mhrd right ministry of human resource and development um so the fellowship is on time so you might have heard about you know the the, the struggles of uh, csi grf particularly ugc grf is still fine but CA, CSI GRF, those who have qualified CSI, CSI GRF, um, you know, for six months, for four months, you know, the fellowship fellowship does not come on time. And, uh, you know, you need to frequently uh, apply to them and a lot of uh, problems happen. OK, but uh, thankfully, the uh, gate fellowship that you get, get through the institute. OK, sometimes it is also called institutional fellowship. So basically, if you qualify gate examination, um, you know, you are eligible for institutional fellowship. So, of course, you need to do some teaching work for that. OK, you. Uh, a few hours you have to dedicate every week to teaching but the fellowship is on time and it is equivalent to uh, gate okay and um, as far as i know iits icers and nits uh, give you this fellowship which is equivalent to C csi net grf uh, uh, with central universities you might need to kind of like consult with them and see their website that what fellowship they offer if you just qualify gate but for nits icers and um, and iits um, i'm i'm 100% sure that the fellowship is equivalent to to CSR GRF. Okay, that is the first thing. And then it is on time. So in fact, um, I would not name them, of course, but there are some of my juniors and even my friends uh, who, you know, joined a particular institute through through the gate examination, like through institutional fellowship. And later on, they, you know, cleared CSR GRF, but they did not, uh, you know, they did not really tell the institute that they have qualified CSR GRF. Okay, uh, because the fellowship was uh, good and was on time. However, you need to understand when you're applying. Okay, now let's come to the application part that there's a certain quota with every professor. Okay, in the sense that if you let's say I'm, I'll talk about ICERs. So in ICERs, uh, let's say one professor will be depending upon his position. Um, they might be entitled to two students based on the gate fellowship. Okay, or, or, you know, three students, whatever the number might be or one student. Okay, so if there is already a student with this particular professor, uh, who is enrolled through this gate uh, program or who has just qualified gate and not qualified GRF. Basically they're getting the institutional fellowship. Um, in that case, uh, he or she, like the professor would not be able to take another, uh, you know, student based on the gate fellowship. Okay. Now, how do we know for a fact that whether a professor has a, you know, a student or has a seat available based on the gate fellowship or not. So that most of them, uh, I would not most of them, but some of them definitely put it out on Twitter and LinkedIn, you know, so I'll share you some screenshots over here. Uh, basically, you know, I am in touch with a lot of students and professors from ISR Bhopal. So I know a lot about them in the sense that I follow them. So I know that, okay, uh, they frequently post about these things. I'll share some screenshot over here. For example, if I talk about the field of electrochemistry, uh, so in ISR Bhopal, uh, uh, you know, Dr. Amit Paul, he has a 
you know uh, vacancy in uh, uh, based on the gate fellowship so for some of you who might be interested in the field of electrochemistry you can definitely apply to it um, and the reason why you should know first of all that why uh, whether they have a seat eligible or not i mean one is quite evident that you know then only they will be able to take you and the second thing is that uh, you know you can write to them you can email them that you are definitely interested so this is one point that you definitely have to keep in mind uh you know emailing them definitely uh and what do you need to email i mean it should be just a genuine email that you are interested in the field of electrochemistry and you have seen their profile you have you have read their research and and you are you know you're wanting to join their lab something of that sort you can write in the email and then you can mention that you are coming for the interview um you know uh, for the for for the uh, for the phd admission and uh, and you will be glad if you if uh, you know you could meet them i uh, like that you can mention so what that does is first of all the professor would know that yes this student is genuinely interested uh, in joining my lab and when you will be interviewed you know he or she will make sure that they are they are there for the interview and and you know that creates a a favorable situation for you so to say apart from that uh this one more thing that you need to do which might sound very trivial but is very important is that make sure that when you go for In interview to any of these institutes okay wherever you are eligible uh, you should be in the f in the you should be interviewed by morning most of uh, most probably like most favorably because what happens by evening the professors first of all have already shortlisted their candidates and they are very tired as well so more or less what is going to happen that is a human psychology thing okay you can't really compete with that what will happen is by evening they have already made their choices so they will hardly be interested so even if you have a great profile um and you know you might have a lot of research uh, you might have a lot of experience bef beforehand but they might just not be interested in you okay so make sure that uh you are you know in the first few ones to be interviewed i don't know what exactly is the procedure but earlier what used to happen is that if they used to call students at let's say 8 o'clock then as soon as a student enters uh, you know they they assemble all the students in some conference room or something and then you know you will be given some kind of a token or you will have to enter you'll get you'll get some registration id or something so if you arrive early you'll get the registration id you know beforehand and you will be interviewed early right so uh, so that is uh, one aspect that uh, you should definitely keep in mind coming to where all you can apply see through gate fellowship most of the institutes most of the great good institutes um, you know uh, kind of like accept uh, people on uh, based on gate fellowship individuals based on gate fellowship uh but some of them have the rank criteria so you can always look into the eligibility criteria uh you know you know about all the good institutes uh like iits icers uh, nits i would still you know i i would say try for icers and uh, iits um over nits and then jncsr is there iisc bangalore is there and all those institutes right uh of course if you have a gate rank uh, under 1000 that means 1 2 9 3 3 three digit or 2 digit rank um then uh, you can try for older iits the more renowned ones like iit kanpur or the more established ones i would say um iit kanpur iit delhi kharagpur bombay iisc bangalore uh but if you have greater than 1000 so there's a difficult chance that you might get an opportunity over here to be interviewed but you can still apply but if you have greater than 1000 then try and apply to um uh, new varieties like iit indore um iit hyderabad and all those other institutes um and same goes with icer so icer bhopal even though it's a well established institute and its department of chemistry is quite popular uh but i've seen icer bhopal is quite uh welcoming that way that even if you have a rank of 1500 2000 also they do call for the interview but make sure you check out the eligibility criteria okay sometimes they might just change the eligibility criteria and you might not be eligible so don't apply and waste your money uh, just read the eligibility criteria in detail okay whether they have mentioned a cut off for the gate rank as well <coughs> so anyway i i guess that is it um I'll try and apply to all icers and uh, iits um, iits generally have this eligibility criteria icers most probably do not so you can uh, apply to most of the icers i guess right um yeah so that's about it anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did do not forget to give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do that it would some somewhat motivate me to make more videos and more frequently also right thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video very soon
Hey guys, so I'm a verified educator on Unacademy and along with that I'm also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you're interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you're not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app and search my name over there. That is Ace Haiti. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right.